Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. And we're doing to try and bring social value in that connection. That means that every product decision that we make is tuned for does it do good in the world. We're not a company that's designed to make money. We're a company that's designed to create communities and let those communities make a difference in the world. We think about money as a secondary thing. Now, when you joined Facebook, Instagram, a long time ago, many, many years ago, it was just based upon a social value. Your friends and family were there, it gave you all those endorphins, it gave you everything, all that hype. But what cost have you learned from that? It's To me, I've deleted Facebook, I've deleted Instagram, I'm just pretty much off most of all social media because of just the negativity. It doesn't really add value to my life right now. Because right now, it doesn't give me anything besides collect data, uh, give me more stress or pressure all, with all of this. It just sends your data out and to them, it makes it's making them money from all my information. It becomes not a product for me, it's a product for them. It's making It's not even making you money. Now, let's switch gears a little bit. Now let's think about Polygon, Loopering, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche. These are just a couple programs. I want you to think of what I just said. These are a couple programs. And I want you to go back two decades ago when right now you're looking at your computer and you're using Google. And even off your phone, you're maybe Android, or maybe your iOS, or even Windows 95 when that started up. Did you or were you even able to invest in them in when they first started up? They're just getting on the market. Think so? Most likely not, because you know that was too risky. You know, you could say, oh, I was on the stocks. I didn't like programs and especially tech back then. It was too risky. Even that, it was seen as a risk. It was a fad. You know, just people think, oh, internet, and it'll never happen. Software in Scotts Valley, California, was having a big day, launching a new product when America Online cut them off from their potential customers. We first kind of just looked at each other and said, gosh, now what do we do? Um... For some netheads and geeks, and that's what they call themselves, now this the is what of America crypto is. Online these are what these projects are. These are networks, space. these are protocols, and these are programs. This is the same. They are technology. And you have to think about these programs with serious projects on them. They are technology. And this is the next version of what's being updated to make things work faster, smoother, and again, just be more open. Who again wrote the same code that people did and who wrote basically Windows 95. They wrote Netscape. They wrote Chrome. They wrote AOL. All of these things. They even wrote IO, the iOS programs. These are the developers and programmers. They're making things easier for us. And that's what the Ethereum network and a lot of these other networks are doing with these protocols. These protocols solve problems and they're creating ways for us and for the companies and other people things to basically lower costs, make it faster, transactions, even with smart contracts with NFTs. Ways to certify things that are real because they can't be forged. And I'm gonna get into that next video. That's a big, big part of this. Most of these programs now have been worked for around at least about two years. Loopring 2017, maybe 2018, 19, Polygon, etc. And even Ethereum, same thing. The technology is here and it's always improving. And going forward, whenever you see people talk about cryptocurrency, maybe you want to talk to them about, hey, this is a program. It can buy and make your life easier. How? Well, that depends upon you because we each have these communities. Ethereum community, Polygon community, the Loop Ring community, the GameStop community, all of them. You know, these communities, you can fund them. You can profit from them directly now. There's no Mono Man, there's no banks, and the ability to decide this decades ago, that was impossible. You couldn't do it. Data was used against us, and it still is now. But now, with these developers and programs and protocols and this new technology, it's going to be more open. The programming development alone with NFT is just being understood outside of the space of art. In the next video, I want to get into that more. It's great to hear that. Anyway, have a great day. Game on.